Don't make the same mistakes. Save yourself. Don't you see I'm giving you a chance to save yourself? Your last chance. And all you have to do is to paint my portrait. But I already have. What do you say? You already have your portrait. I am writing about the events that have marked my life, because tomorrow my life may be over. I may be burnt at the stake. I am Dominicus Theodogopoulos. I was born in Crete. Προχώρα, προχώρα. Έχουμε αργήσει. Πού oh. τα καταφέρει και αγούμε κάθε φορά, δεν μπορώ να καταλάβω. Ελάτε να σε κεράσουμε την παρέα. Είστε εδώ, λέμε στο ελληνικό τέλο. Δεν ξέρω εγώ αυτή τη δουλειά. Γεια σου, κοφίτσι Κρήτη. Εβίβα! Crete was under Venetian rule, but I was young, and deep inside I felt myself to be free. I dreamt of traveling freely just as my ancestors had done thousands of years earlier. We Cretans never lost any opportunity to show our rebellious attitude to our oppressors, though we never lost our humor either. Still, one had to make a living.
Μάστερ Δομένικο Θεοτοκόπουλο. Nevertheless, I had to admit, our oppressors had become dangerously beautiful of late. Thank you, Your Excellency. The auction is now beginning. Four hundred. Francesca da Rimi, the Duke's daughter, spoiled, arrogant, beautiful, and precisely for this reason, a hundred times more dangerous than her father. Five hundred. Five hundred. Nobleman Calerius. Six hundred. Oh, six hundred. Spill like his bone in the bottom of Titi Timi. Imagine how he must have felt. Not only had she dragged him to the auction, she had also obliged him to buy my painting. And to throw my money at them. It is not your money. You forget my mother's bequest. You don't have it. Besides, what do I care who attacks you? Attacked me? Do you think they will have the time to? Whatever Francesca wanted, Francesca got. But this time, she would find herself with more than she had asked for. More than she could handle. And so would I, for that matter. He likes you. He is usually fierce. I have my little ways. What's his name? Argos. Ah, like Ulysses, dog. For the little snake, which guards the house. And it was with just such an attitude that she burst into my studio, uninvited. My father is holding a farewell ball for me. You might find it amusing. Then the pass. The pay will create then the pass. Tetati. Then the pao. Ναι, θα πας. Δεν μπορώ να σε αφήσω μόνος σου. Θα πας στο χώρο. Θα έρθει μαζί σου και ο Νικολός. Και θα έχει τα μάτια του 14. Ο Νταρίμι κάτι ετοιμάζει. Άκουσε το πατέρα σου. My father was up in the mountains, leading the resistance. Although it was always my wish to be at his side, he insisted on taking my beloved brother with him, saying that my weapons were my paintings, something that I didn't fully understand at the time. He did all he could to persuade me to leave Crete. I wasn't aware of it then, but he was preparing me for a different kind of resistance, one that had nothing to do with any specific oppressor. Now I realize that this was the resistance of light against darkness. One guided by a higher mandate. Μπορώ εγώ το θυμάμαι, εσύ το θυμάσαι. 
I have to admit, that evening, Francesca was simply radiant. She could have charmed the very rocks. I'm so glad you came. I thought you would be scared. Of your father's guards or of his money? Of me. Even in the most dangerous places, and at the most dangerous moments, she could always find a way to lure me into her snares. Of course, the best painters in the world work in Venice. Have you ever seen a Tiziano before? No. He is a family friend. You should come to Venice. My home is here. You don't have a home. People like you never do. Why? Because people like your countrymen have taken it. Venice has many faces. There is the Venice of merchants and conquerors. And there is another Venice where you can be anything you like. I'm just a painter. And you think you are good? Well, you're not. But you could become great. To save him. My father means to attack tonight. Despite all the festivities, Dorimi had only one thing on his mind to quash the rebellion. But he was dealing with Cretans, and my people were always ready to sacrifice themselves for their homeland. Men, young like me, were lying dead in the dirt. I should have been lying there with them. This time we had won. The next time, who knew whose body would be lying there? Τώρα τους νικήσαμε, αλλά χάσαμε πολλούς. Την άλλη φορά, ποιος ξέρει. Πρέπει να φύγει. Θα πας και εσύ μαζί του. Από εδώ και μπρος. Εσύ θα το προσέχεις. 
protege. With the blessing of my father and of Nicolas, I decided to seek my fortune in Venice. I worked in Titian's renowned studio, and albeit against her father's will, Francesca did everything in her power to make my life comfortable. Πες τη μαυρίλια είναι πάλι, σαν τον ουρανό σε αυτή την πόλη, μαύρος. It's just how Tiziano does things. Your time will come. You are getting better. Not good enough. At least, I'm getting very good at eyebrows. Who knows, one day they might let me do ears. Why did I ever leave Creed? Why did you go to the house? You don't have to go to the house. That's what I say. That's what I say. Was I right to have come here? Was this what I really wanted? Titian's studio was not like any studio I had known. It was a hive of activity. People came there from all over Italy, from all over the world, to have their portraits painted and signed by Titian. Scusatemi, scusatemi. Holiness, it's an honor. Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a simple priest. Well, the studio of Titian, the greatest painter in the world. Preparation, color mixing, color, colori. If you would like to come this way, Your, Your Excellency. And before all others came the church, which had both the power and the money to impose its demands.
de Nuestra España. No se ven estas cosas en Guevara. Who is that? Uh, him, uh, Maestro Phil, uh, Phil something or other. Apparently he's the best in Crete, wherever it is. Well, if you would like to follow me, Maestro is ready. Sure. Maestro. Yes. The honorable visitors from Spain are here. Welcome to Venice. <clears throat> yes, yes. His Royal Highness is building the greatest palace Spain has ever seen. Spain? No, the whole world. El Escorial. So... Senor Tiziano? Oh, I'm an old man, Senor Sacon. So much excitement may kill me. No. May kill him. Nicolas was my shadow. Faithful to my father's wishes and commands, he followed me everywhere, noting everyone and everything. That day, we were visited by representatives of the church in Spain. Among them was a priest. whose gaze I felt piercing me without my looking at him and without my knowing the reason. It's lunch break for you too, Domenicos. Or are you going to eat paint again today? Brother Manusos had turned to a life at sea, and I knew that one day his travels would bring him to Venice, with news from home. Oh! Domenico Sotocopoulos? Manuso! Domenico! Nicolò! Τι κάνεις εδώ? Ξέφυγα από την Κρήτη και ψάχνω το μεγάλο μου αδερφό. Το πλοίο μου φεύγει την αυγή. Τι νέα, πατέρας? Darimi, he set us a trap. A wedding, they poisoned the wine. Everyone was wiped out. What about father? Everyone.
Δεν τελειώσε ακόμα. Πρέπει να υπογράψει. Δομήνικο Θεοτοκόπουλο. Our overconfident young Greek with a pronounceable name. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Dominikos Totokopoulos. Totokopoulos. That's why they just call you Greek. <laughs> Maestro, will you sign it? No, I want more red. Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. this is a Greek myth. Uh, Titio, a commission from Spain. Why do you think he's being tortured like that? Because he looked the gods in the face. He saw too much. Like you and me. People may ask us for the truth, but do they want it? Take my advice. Never show them everything. Why? They never forgive you. I can't paint like you. Better. Be El Greco. El Greco. <laughs> Before long, Titian started to take note of me. He was a good man, experienced in his craft. And so I gradually developed as an artist, painting my own works borrowing from the Venetian style of the times. Francesca was beautiful and utterly desirable. And despite her headstrong nature, deep down she was a tender, tormented soul. This was the Francesca I wanted to paint. In any case, I owed her a great deal. For me, Francesca was Venice. My days in Titian's studio passed uneventfully. Afterwards, in order to get away from the usual religious themes, I took to studying and sketching things connected with my own roots, things from Greek mythology. I saw the original in Rome. No. It is Greek. In Crete, we believe that snakes are sent by the gods. Oh, the gods? Where I come from, some people think that pagan art can be dangerous. Dangerous? Or must be all their naked flesh. Perhaps. <laughs> but then who could paint the soul? Oh, who knows? Aren't souls your job? Mm -hmm. All that is dangerous. God's great mysteries always are. 
Oh, a clever priest. <laughs> You've got a very dangerous job. Yeah, and what so have you? <laughs> you are very good, you know. Maybe I was once. God has given you a gift, and you must find how to use it. Oh no, please. It is very good. No. It's not yet dangerous enough. I started to feel the need for change while putting my brushes in order after one more routine day the Spanish priest appeared yet again this time he wanted me to sign a study I had made of Laocon that a few weeks earlier I had discarded he said it was good I knew it was not are you living? yes I am also leaving back home to Spain. Will you... Will you sign this? It is really not good. Let me be the judge of that. What is your home like? Full of light. It sounds beautiful. At least you have a home to go back to. You know, Spain is a whole new world. And you, you need a new campus. What do you want from me, Senor Nino de Guevara? What? Don't want anything. El Greco. God does. I still do not know who it was who wanted me to go to Spain. God? Or this? strange priest. Nevertheless, I found the idea intriguing. Venice was starting to lose its hold on me, and my work in Titian's studio was so exhausting that I no longer had any energy left for my own work. What still kept me there was Francesca. And the strange thing is that in the end, it was she who made the decision to leave me. It seems she was unable to withstand the pressure from her father, who was totally opposed to our relationship. I can't escape my father's power. And he had decided that she should marry some boring old aristocrat to further his own ambitions. I'm a woman. I'm not afraid to choose. And the only way she could escape her father's plans was to take monastic vows. Everyone walks his own path. She had no other choice. I was preferment. Now they are particularly. My inspiration to paint her as Mary Magdalene. What about the painting? Why did you take her? A sinner who became a saint. Three Proved months. prophetic. There was a time once when I would have been a saint. I have to admit, 
Our separation was exceptionally difficult and painful for both of us. Guevara was right. Spain opened her arms to me. I was immediately accepted and very quickly became known. I was now able to paint as I wanted and to bargain as I wanted. I held my fate in my own hands. Well, we can only offer 225 ducats. <laughs> Price is 900 ducats. That's impossible. But you'd be cries on the way to crucifixion. The Holy Virgin and Mary Magdalene were not at the place. Really? And you were an eyewitness, I suppose. <laughs> Shall we split the difference? 900 or nothing. And that is the price, not for the sale of the painting, but its rental. <laughs> you could never possess it. The true owner of my work is eternity. Eternity? Blasphemy! No, the artistic temperament. But the value of the painting is 500. It's far beyond the 500. It's one of the best I've ever seen. Eternity. Itself with many things besides art. And then you tell me, my friend, that art is dangerous. En nuestros días todos creen hablar con Dios. Al final ya no nos necesitarán. ¿Qué significa esta farsa? Puede que esta mujer no esté en sus cabales, pero desde luego no es ninguna bruja. Todavía eres joven. Y se entiende. Pero ten cuidado, Guevara. Hay quien desde los altos estamentos observa tus pasos. No les decepciones. ¿Por qué no le ven? ¿Por qué no puede 
he's mad at me. ¿Qué será de ella? Niña. Bien, esta... Esta será entonces tu primera decisión. First came her fragrance, like a cool breeze, then her presence. She slipped into my studio out of nowhere, with her strange, timid, slightly silly expression. I would like to buy a painting. Or, of course, I mean, rent one. That is, if you think I'm worthy of it. And the more awkward she was, the more attractive she became in my eyes. That creature. How could I possibly imagine that she would become my lifelong companion? You kept it, after all. I was in the cathedral. I heard. <laughs> Chanting. Why? What do you see in it? It's a saint. A woman. Beautiful. No. What do you see? Hey, close your eyes. Tell me what you see. What do you see? I see her eyes. Her eyes are so full. They have seen so much. And yet they are tranquil. It was like falling in love again for the first time. I should go. Oh, but you'll come back. To sit for your portrait. She came the next day, and the next, and the next. And each time it was as though a cool breeze filled my soul. Perhaps I had found what I'd been looking for in life. I painted her constantly. Geronimo was a good person. Painting her helped me to express the divine that every person has inside them. was like falling in love again for the first time. <laughs> Yet this 
holy creature who never ceased to impress me had still not given her heart to me. And I liked that. Even my beloved Nicholas, my shadow, seemed content. And Geronima came back again and again, until Guevara suddenly appeared, which he was doing more and more, determined to get into my life. Domenicus, you will never believe what it... beneath you, my friend. These two are God's beloved creatures. Is it her money or her power? Omorfia. Like technical omorfia. There might be a better model for a holy mother, though. Well, here we have some... <laughs> we have some society lady who wants to be remembered as a saint for all eternity. Is that not so? Careful. The way you are going, you will end up as an inquisitor. I'm not as if this. Tenéis muchos pecados que confesar. No he hecho nada malo. No, aún no. El mayor pecado es impedirle trabajar. Él nos pertenece. Pertenece a Dios. Y no podéis tener a Dios por rival. Estáis jugando con fuego, señorita de las cuervas. ¿Cómo se atreve? Escúchame bien. Él es arrogante y pretende saberlo todo. Necesita de alguien que le guíe. Y ese alguien no sois vos. Necesita creer en algo. Eres tú, mi señor, que viene a buscarme en medio de la noche. ¿Lo eres? Sí. Estamos esperando tu veredicto. A la hoguera. <risa> Niño de Guevara. Mis parabienes, gran inquisidor. There's nothing to be scared of. I'm not scared. 
than John. You have to understand, Dominicus. If I come with you now, there's no going back. I'll catch you. You are the father. He's coming. My father! Go! Go! Go ahead and sight immediately. Later, I understood. Geronima had been right. Never underestimate the evil that men are capable of. Davis. Tifuta. Patido. Xana. First time I see you so happy. Yes. Yes, I am happy. to defy her stern father and set out in the night to come to meet me. I know him. He will want to live soon. This town chokes him. I got him this far, but I can't get him where he has to go. It's your turn now. You must take care of him from now on. He doesn't know who watch his back. You must take care of him now. You. Is it all? how that night would change everything. I won Geronima, but lost Nicolas, my friend. My shadow. No. Many ways of learning things. Yet even though he knew, he did not hesitate to sacrifice himself to protect me. A 
had to keep his promise to my father. Besides, he knew that I was now in good hands. Geronima loved me. I wanted to keep the soil, but he needed it more. Soil that would lie lightly upon him. Soil from home. Soil from Crete. Πιάσε και το χέρι μου, μπαμπά. I paint because I want to turn people into saints. I paint because I want their souls to become pure light. I paint because I want everything to become light. Because only light can vanquish death, and I paint to conquer death. It's the best work you've ever done. Why? What makes it good? You made it good. Better moment to dance a dance from my homeland. A dance.
from Creed. With this artwork, the barrier of the Condor Gath, you have now entered the realm of the great. Viva Greco! Viva Greco! To friendship. To friendship. Thank you for my portrait. When it was finished, my soul wondered which body it preferred, my own or the one on the canvas. <laughs> to El Greco! Spain had given me so much, so much more than I expected. Fame, friends, wealth, love. What do you see? I see friends. Our child. You. <laughs> Spain. Happiness. I remember one thing. This time, you cannot leave. This time, I don't want to leave. This is your country. How can you let the Inquisition turn it into this? You don't understand. You cannot fight these people. You tried. You to the man of us. Why? He's a Spain's greatest painter, of course. Don't you recognize him? What's the matter, Dominicus? Aren't you going to greet your old friend? My old friend wasn't wearing the Grand Inquisitor's robe. This man is innocent. I demand his release. Demand? From the Inquisition? Since you're here, gentlemen, my good friend Chacon, and the King's own confessor, will you please explain to your overconfident Greek friend the new order of things? All right. I ask. I beg. Whatever. Just release him. Elysium. What? The Inquisition can be merciful as well as unrelenting. Just like God. you, Domenicos. What about the others? To the pyre. All of them.
What is it that turns men into saints? Pain? Torture? Injustice? Belief? Knowledge? Can my painting turn men into saints? Was it just me who saw these men as saints? I had become obsessed. I was preparing for a fight without even being aware of it. And I probably did one of the worst things I could have done. I began to neglect Geronima, my guardian angel. You never told me who she was. You never told me about Dino. Do you still love me, Domenicos? Why won't you answer me? Words. We don't need them anymore. You're crazy, Greek. Someone is asking for you. Guevara was putting me under more and more pressure. And the relationship between us, whatever that was, had reached a critical point, was ready to explode. What a curious man he was. He had the ability always to make the atmosphere unbearable. And after so many years, the authority he had acquired made him into an even darker figure. From the very first time that this priest had entered my life, I had been unable to understand what it was he wanted of me. The saints look like madmen. Or beggars in the gutter. I feel like I know them. Do I? Of course. And you made these people into saints? Maybe. Maybe you did. Only God can make someone a saint. Who knows who you think you are these days? So there's going to be a battle between us. This is going to be amusing. Isn't that what you're here for? Everyone who's anyone in Toledo is supported by you. Well, now it's my turn. I could refuse. Indeed, you could. But then, I won't be running away. stifling that I could hardly breathe. 
I sense the growing negative force, like before a storm, and it was about to burst at any moment. Against the Greek invaders, to Toledo, no Troy, and the man who tries to stop them is hit to my snakes. What are you trying to say, Domenicos? I'm just a painter. If you were just a mere painter, I could ignore you. When you move people, you get inside their heads, inside their hearts. And God knows what you might start doing in there. Art always consoles pain-filled people. Are you going to throw all artists on the pyre, a Grand Inquisitor? No. Not all artists. It was evident that he wanted me to paint his portrait, but it was more than that. For two whole days I tried to concentrate on the portrait, but he wouldn't stay in the same place. He wandered around my studio, gazing at my paintings, trying to get inside them, to analyze them with his negative attitude, to find a way to use them against me. And perhaps I was providing him with the opportunity, for I had decided to paint him as he truly was, the real Guevara. Don't you do it. How do you turn people into saints? Why won't you tell me? There is nothing to tell. There is nothing to tell. There is nothing to tell. Dios te perdone la soberbia. Tell me something, the manicus. Do you hate me? I don't hate anybody. <laughs> I need to see what you see in me. Is it ready? They show me.
Kira. Kira is a very word. You will hear from me. You will be sent for. When will that happen? When they are ready. There is a bit of a backlog at the moment. Is that? Nothing. Go back to everything, please. Everything can be packed by tonight. We'll leave. Only my I'm staying. He's asking you to testify. 
Then do you know what that means? Oh, they can't burn El Greco, can they? No, they can't. But they can burn Domenico's. Do I need to remind you you have a son? Right, you want shit! This time I can't leave! Tell me something. Why do you think I fell in love with you? You think I care about your fame? All I care about is you. So come with me. I can't. Very well. Your son and I will live in the morning. Geronimo! If you love me, you won't go. You still don't understand, do you? I do love you. But you're caught in death. If I stay, I will start to hate you, Domenico. And I can't stand. I'm not brave. For a moment, I was at a loss. But deep down, I felt an unexpected certainty. As though something were telling me that fate had always destined me for this fight. It was a fight for my life. And the fight of my life. I don't know what I can do. Guevara is a very difficult man. That's why I sent for you. Do you love him so much? Yes. Do you? We met Reverend Mother. I come to you about a certain painter. What do you achieve by making an example of him? Hmm? Well, he has sinned against God. He must be punished. We must defend the faith, of course. But persuasion goes further than force. Imagine if rain were to seep into this cathedral. All it takes is just one leak, just one. And water was crawled down the walls and down the pillars until it's everywhere, until the whole place is damp and stinking. Well, sin is like that. We must close every crack in the wall. Are you trying to stop the rain? Now I recognize you. And that painting of his, Mary Magdalene. No wonder you're so quick to defend a sinner. I may be, but he, pardon him, 
Use the power you have for good. I will use my power. And he will feel the heat of it. Who do you hate the most? Him or yourself? It is strange. Now in difficult times, my brother Manusos was always there beside me, as though he knew. I needed him. I needed him, but it was better that he didn't know what was happening. Why is it so quiet in here? Did somebody die? <laughs> For God's sake, haven't they hanged you yet? Please. We're talking to a hero of the great sea battle against the Turks. You. Little Panto. I should have guessed. War is an ugly thing, Domenicus. The things I saw... The guy next to me, my good friend, he got his arm blown clean off. I wonder what will become of him crippled like that. Poor Therpentis. At least you fought. I've been running away all my life. Father would have been ashamed of me. Father would have been proud of you. He was always proud of you. And I hope he's well wherever he is. Have you seen the world, Minusos? I don't know if I have seen the whole world. But from what I saw, they all knew about someone called El Greco. <laughs> I brought you something. A taste of home. Raiki. my brother, to Spain's greatest Greek painter. For as long as he's alive. Well, if you're going to die, you might as well die as Spain's greatest Greek painter. I'll give you a better funeral. I wonder what a Spanish funeral will feel like. must be very thirsty after 17 years, huh? How many years it has been since I left Venice? And yet, Titian's words still ring in my ears, clearer and louder than ever. My advice. People may ask us for the truth, but do they want it? Take my advice. Never show them everything. Why? They never forgive you. I can't paint like you. Better. Be El Greco. El Greco! <laughs> I'm tired now. So very tired. The new day is dawning. I have no more time for writing. I must prepare myself. Soon I may no longer be alive. Soon I may be engulfed by the flames. Perhaps they will burn me. Burn my paintings. But they will never be able to destroy my life or the reason behind my paintings. For the reason was always to protect the light from the darkness. And that can never be destroyed.
Are you Domenicos Theotocopoulos known as El Greco? What is happening? I cannot go into the chamber. But I have an idea. Come with me. Chacon is here, but he's very sick. Jerónima de las Cuevas. Why have you never married? We had no need to seek anyone else's approval. So, you're above the law of the church. No. But perhaps love is not subject to laws. The church concerns herself with sin. Nor love. You have a son. Jorge Manuel. A bastard. By attacking children. Thank God. We should go. No. No, I won't. El Greco is my friend. And now to the folds of your painting. One. Distortion of the scriptures. Two. Blasphemous depiction of holy saints as deviants and criminals. But that's free. Pagan interpretations of our Lord's angels. Which have the face of Dionysus. They... <laughs> Four. Factual inaccuracies in Bible sins. Five. Use of sensational and vulgar colors. Six. Perversion of the faith. Seven. Heretical subversion of the true doctrine. Eight. Blatant disregard for the decrees of the Council of Trent controlling art. In particular, subsection 6, paragraph B, which states that images must be modest and decorous. These charges are ridiculous. And you know it. I'm afraid you have not grasped the seriousness of the fate that awaits you. Informers tell us you twice ate pork on a Friday. Your son crosses himself improperly in church. Your paintings distract people from prayer. No. Your intention is to glorify only yourself. When do I make my defense? Defense. I would like to call a witness. This is against the rules. I call Grand Inquisitor Cardinal Nino de Guevara. I call him to testify why he asked a blasphemous heretic to paint his portrait. Accuse me of blasphemy. Yes. Your female saints are too beautiful. Your angel's wings are too large. Too large? Perhaps you know better than the church. Perhaps you have seen angels. Answer the question. Have you seen angels? 
Have you? No. But you paint them. And people will think they know what angels look like because they see them in your paintings. It doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter what the church teaches. Because you set yourself up as the authority. You, nothing but an arrogant painter who got comfortable and who has never seen angels. Have you seen angels? How do you dare? What? It doesn't matter what I say. And after all, what can I say? You're right. I'm a blasphemer. Because what is art if not blasphemy? Is not God the one and only true creator? Yes. I'm guilty. Because I give people new worlds. New colors. New light. frozen soul at the pyres of people you burn at the stake. You ask me what I see in you, and it's this. I threw myself into the blaze of it. You light fires because you are afraid to burn. You are afraid of the light. And this is why I pity you, my old friend, Nino de Guevara. Because you aren't wrong to be afraid. But every flame you light drives you deeper into darkness, and no matter how many people you burn, you will never escape it. Can the darkness condemn the light?
Yes, I am. <laughs> Oh! <gasps>